Hero! What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy AJ, back at you again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, I will be breaking down the top 15 fastest vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. So yeah, a little bit different of a video. Um, but I'm still doing that $10 million giveaway. Nobody's commenting, nobody's doing anything, so I can obviously not pick a winner if nobody's commenting and doing what it says in the description. But as soon as y'all start doing that, I'll be able to pick a winner. But let's just go ahead and jump right into it on the top 15 fastest vehicles in the game. So, before we actually get into the video, y'all, huge disclaimer here. This is all factual, okay? This is all facts. Um, it's all been done on spreadsheets and things like that. I will leave them linked down in the description. Shout out goes to Bruffy, okay? He's the one who did this over on his channel. Uh, he went through a lot of hard work. I'm sure he did to make it. So y'all go ahead and check him out. And... Um, also, one more thing, I don't want this video to be 10 years long, man, so I'm just going to kind of get in and out with vehicles. I'm going to tell you the price, I'm going to tell you the top speed, and obviously what place. So, uh, But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the 15th place, it was kind of hard to pick a vehicle because there's a lot of cars that you could pick for the 15th spot. Um, some of them will have the same exact miles per hour, but I went ahead and picked the jugular, okay? Uh, the top speed is 126 miles an hour. It's actually 126.5 to be exact but uh that is the top speed for the jugular it is a sports car yes i'm pretty sure yes the jugular is a sports car um i honestly love it. it is one of my favorite vehicles in the game uh you can get it for a trade price of a uh, 918,000. okay so not too bad but what i got it for was 1.2 million some change so which most people will get it for is 1.2 million but the trade price, you know, if you do the missions with it or whatever you have to do to unlock that, you can actually get it for about 900000 But this is the Ocelot Jugular, and I'm putting it at place number 15. So, at place number 14, we have the Wagner, alright? Um, coming in at a big whopping 1.5 million. Not too bad, okay? Not totally bad. I actually like the vehicle a lot. Uh, the top speed is 126.8 miles an hour, so... Just a smidge off of number 15, like I said earlier, the, these vehicles and the miles per hour will not be, you know, a big difference until we get into the, about the top five vehicles. But um, still, number 14, the Wagner, coming in at 1.5 million, 126.8 miles an hour is the top speed. And uh, overall, I like the vehicle, not a bad one. Very, very good on the ground, good handling, good traction. But let's go ahead and get into number 13. At number 13, we have the Itali GTB Custom. Okay, so the top speed for this one is 127 miles an hour. Not too far off of number 14. Obviously, these are all going to be very close, like I said. And the um, price for this is about 1.6 million. You're going to need about 1.6 million and a lot more because um, this is a Benny's vehicle and it comes with a lot of upgrades. That is also why I like this vehicle a lot. It comes with a lot of different upgrades. It is expensive. 1.6 million honestly is not that bad um there is a lot more expensive ridiculously uh expensive cars in the game but for you know 1.6 million what you get you know it's not too bad there's a lot of upgrades on it 127 miles an hour you're getting the pretty much the 13th fastest car in the game as far as cars that can race fully upgraded you know um and uh but yeah that's number number 13 at number 12 we have the tyrant okay so i'm not the biggest fan of this vehicle it is kind of a big lunky kind of fat supercar to me um i actually just bought it for this video this ain't even upgraded but uh fully upgraded and everything like that it would hit 127.1 miles an hour okay so just point one quicker than the last vehicle we had but um it is very expensive 2.5 million and some change so you're going to be spending some money, and it is honestly not the greatest vehicle in the game, okay? So, honestly, honest opinion, okay? Unless you're just trying to get every car in the game, not a buy, okay? Would not do it, but that is number 12. So, coming in at number 11, this is one's funny. I just thought I'd throw this one in there. This is actually for real. Um, the top speed is 127.25, so just a little bit more than the last vehicle we had. Like I said, all these are going to be just a smudge off. But um, definitely don't buy this vehicle if you're just trying to race. It's $3.5 million. Definitely do not buy it, but it is actually very quick. Uh, just thought I'd throw this in this list to, you know, make it kind of funny. But uh, this is number 11 on the list, $3.5 million. Um, definitely not worth it. 127.25 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, man. 
on to the next one. Coming in at number 10, we have the Nero Custom, okay, which is another one of my favorite cars in the game. I love the way that they, you know, made it look like the car in real life. I love that. Um, it has a top speed of 127.3. Um, it is kind of expensive. It not, you know, not in the very beginning. You pay 1.4 million for the original version, but once you take it to Bendy's, it does take a lot of money to actually upgrade it. Um, so this will be another one of the Bendy vehicles that does, you know, take eventually probably at least another 500k to a million to upgrade exactly how you like it um, but 127.3 miles an hour puts it in the 10th position so coming in at number nine we have the Krieger okay 2.8 million dollars almost pretty much pretty much 2.9 um, but almost three million dollars you pretty much get you know people mistake it all the time for the fastest vehicle in the game now when you're racing, you know, through the streets of Los Santos, I would definitely recommend this vehicle. It stops on a dime, as you can tell. Boom, that's the stop time. Um, you know, uh, it is $3 million, but the top speed is 127.35. So it is, you know, if we're getting up there in the numbers now. Um, the handling is very, very good. If you were trying to race, you know, do stunt races and things like this, this is the car I recommend getting. I know it's $3 million, but work your way up there and you'll eventually get it. But coming in at place number nine, we have the Benefactor Krieger. So coming in at number 8, we have a $2.7 million car, the Prosian Emirates. You can literally see yourself through the doors on the side. It's my favorite feature about this car. The only one in Grand Theft Auto 5 that you can actually do that, I'm pretty sure. Um, top speed, 127.4 miles per hour, okay? Um, all these are very close, if you haven't heard me say that five, six times now. But um, it is about $3 million, 2.7 2.7 million dollars for this car very good track vehicle very good vehicle to use um, for racing and uh, that's place number eight coming in at number seven you got to get this vehicle okay it's the Lamborghini truck okay everybody knows it as a Lambo truck but in the game it is the big Picasso Ugh, I don't know why I just <laughs> butchered that Pegasi Toros okay uh, it's only 500k 500k and we're coming in at number seven right here ladies and gentlemen all right number seven for 500k you got to get this vehicle it is a must the acceleration is ridiculous it is an suv roll around town um 500k and you're going to be going 127.5 miles an hour top speed in this baby right here okay so that's coming in at number seven and at number six we have the x80 proto okay 2.7 million dollars um Top speed of 127.5 to any, anywhere from 127.5 to 127.7 or 8. Okay, so not 128, just just quite, almost there, but pretty damn close. Um, X80 Proto coming in at number six. Coming in at number five. Okay, we have the Itali GTO. All right. Uh, top speed is not quite 128 miles an hour, too, but it is 127. Point eight or 127.9 um, it is almost two million dollars 1.9 million is some change to be exact but it is one of my favorite vehicles in the game uh, depending where you are you know in the city or outside the city it, it, it's always reliable I love this vehicle very quick sounds very nice and that is ranked number five so coming in at number four, we have the Entity XXR, and we are going to be able to hit 128 miles an hour in this puppy right here. Very nice vehicle, okay? Looks very nice. Acceleration is great. All right traction, okay? Not too bad. Um, it is, however, $2.3 million, okay? So honestly, um, quite expensive. Not, not too bad, but it is still $2.3 million. You will be hitting 128 in this bad boy right here, fully upgraded, but that is number four. So, coming in at number three, we have the Banshee 900R, all right? You would think it's expensive, right? No, only 650000 plus, all right? Because it's a Benny's vehicle, so I just put the plus at the end because, you know, whatever upgrades you want, it might be a little bit of a different price, a little bit more, a little bit less. But it has a top speed of 131 miles an hour, okay? This game, this car has been out in Grand Theft Auto 4, alright, um, I'm pretty sure that this is a Viper in real life, I love that the way, you know, what the concept that Grand Theft Auto 5 did, Grand Theft Auto 4, Rockstar in general, I love this vehicle overall, overall, um, definitely recommend getting it, but that's number 3. 
coming in at number two. It is the Divesti 8. Okay, me and the boys have a rule. None of us will ever purchase this car. Um, it's just kind of like a car guy thing. But um, it is it is a concept vehicle, but at the same time, it's not. They do have, a, I think, one, maybe two in the real world. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely, I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok or YouTube. Somebody driving it in Dubai or something like that. But Divesti 8 coming in at number two. The top speed is actually 131.8. So it's just a little bit more, and obviously you can see the price right there, 1.8 million pretty much. Um, but 131.8 is really not that. F it's 0.8 off of the Banshee, you know, and the Banshee was the car that we just we, that we just did. Um, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Definitely don't buy this car. But that's number two. And coming in at number one, we have the yeah fuck no. Coming in at number one. 1.1 million, 132.5 miles an hour, is the Pifster 811. Okay, I know a lot of you were not expecting that at all. Don't worry, I know I've been missing one vehicle. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna get to it. Just wait, all right? But the Pifster 811 is very close to being one of the fastest vehicles in the game. Obviously, not with NOS or any Arena War upgrades or anything like that. Regular vehicles, things you can race with in regular stunt races and such. Um, definitely one of the fastest vehicles in the game, but now let's go ahead and get into the broken vehicle the extra vehicle that we have The pretty much the real fastest car in the game Ocelot pariah this is the vehicle everyone is talking about all the time Okay, so for 1.4 million dollars you will be getting the fastest vehicle in the game 136 miles per hour, okay actually very nice very sleek um good handling sounds great uh, looks similar to cars in real life it's a mixture of about i think three or four different vehicles but um yeah man honestly honestly if you've never played grand theft auto 5 online before and you're looking to get a vehicle and you don't know which one to get i think it would be this one okay if you want to win races as quick as possible if you want to get up in the brackets and do things like that you want to be able to hang with your friends i would definitely get the ocelot pariah um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you want to enter the $10 million giveaway, please check the description. I love giving away back to the community. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.